So obviously on this trip, one of the main goals was to, to connect with some Dodge enthusiasts. So we're here at the Red Rock Amphitheater with Dan Franzini. And so Dan, give me an idea of why you chose this place for us to meet with you. And well, first of all, I grew up here in Denver. Okay. And our first concert ever was at Red Rocks. And there's really not a more beautiful scenic spot to pick. Um, but really, why are you here with that car yeah. <laughs> driving yeah. cross country? Our whole thing was driving something that was fun and exciting across the country, right? right. And we, we actually picked the wrong car to drive across the country. <laughs> we've been battling heat, we've been battling overheating, we've been battling gas fumes and everything else. But you know what, it's, it's, we made it, yep. and it's here, which is good. One of the first things I found out about you was that you had a 68. You obviously know that I have a 68, right. so it's kind of a, it, it is a soft spot. So walk me through this thing, because I love it, I love it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so this is my 1968 Dodge Charger. It's a 440 four-speed car. Um, I've done a couple things to it. It has uh, aluminum radiator with uh, dual fans. Uh, it kind of rerouted the fuel system a little bit. I guess you kind of need that here. Yes, you do. Yeah. With the uh, with the altitude, you're always struggling tuning the car, right. etc. Right. Always gives you something to do. Yeah. Um, switch it over to disc brakes, okay. uh, just for safety's sake and with nothing else. Um, upgraded the suspension, put a big old uh, front sway bar in. Okay. Uh, tied up the uh, subframes, so it has subframe connectors, just made the car a lot more solid. And then when I put in the four speed, I did uh, all the liner, so the sound yeah, liner sure. stuff, made it much more quiet inside, kind of kept some heat out. So it feels kind of normal. Kind of normal. So this is a straight line, uh, go fast car, not right. worry about cornering, and then you have to stop it too. You do need brakes. So. Right, that's always a bonus. <laughs> The 68 Charger is obviously my favorite Mopar of all time, but I know you brought something else. Yeah. What, so I have my 70 Cuda. This car I really thought uh, would look good, uh, sort of with a pro touring vibe, and um, I wanted just a little bit different slant to a traditional, you know, numbers matching sure. stock yeah, yeah. car. Um, so I bumped up the wheels to 18 by 8s and 18 by 10s. Okay. Added some of the Hotchkiss uh, sport suspension, um, but I kept the 340 uh, six barrel in there. Oh, good. Um, okay. So as well, you still got you have so, the heritage in there. Yeah. This is the stuff that I, can, I still can't believe that that Dodge and Mopar actually did back in the day. Maybe I'm a little biased because I'm a Dodge guy, yeah. but they are so easy to spot. They just stand out. And that's always been the, the truth with Dodge. They've always made something that is just so far different right. from everybody else. They have the vivid colors. They have right. exactly. the models that were not even close to anything else. Right. This is a Tuesday in Colorado. Nobody wants to go to work. They'd rather just hang out with Mopars. 